I'm Benson and welcome to another one of my video. Today I'm going to show you a handheld battery operated vacuum cleaner by Rosanic. Now this is a Chinese brand and as you showed they are a bit cheaper than the main brand like Dyson. Now my Dyson has been really good to me and uh, over the past two or three years now I do have to have one battery change so now it's running on a generic battery. Other than that frequent cleaning of the filter it's kind of working perfectly well but as age goes on so I decided to buy a new one but instead of paying another like 300 pounds um, to buy a Dyson I thought maybe I try a cheaper brand like a Chinese made one so I decided to buy this one here, which I paid £159 with £20 discount, so I pay about £139. And this is the higher end of the same company who made different, I guess, range. And this one has 20,000 kPa, so it's kind of like the way they measure suction. Unfortunately, I don't have a number for the Dyson because they don't measure it that way. So. Mine is an old version Dyson V6 and after a few years they do lose suction. So when Dyson say never lose suction, it's a lie. Either the battery will deteriorate or there's just so much dust in the filter and where that you can't clean. So anyway, enough of the rent. Here I am, I'm going to show you unboxing and how it operates and maybe I do a little unfair comparison because my vacuum cleaner, like I say, is three years old. Obviously the new one should work better. But does it? Let's find out. There's, need, there's no sweet coating of it. I'm not going to make it sexy and sell the product. It's just an unboxing video and showing you what my purchase is like. So if you find my review video useful, uh, consider subscribing and um, help my channel grow. Thank you very much. Now in the box here, so this is um, Rosan Nick. And um, it's quite a neat little box. Now it's not as fancy as a Dyson that I had. I, I still remember unboxing this one. It was like, you know, top of the range and I paid like 300 quid for it. Now this one is almost like half the price of the lower end of the Dyson. Obviously when you get the Dyson, I think V11, you can pay up to like 500 or 600 pound, which I would never pay that amount of money unless I get sent one free. But for when I'm buying one for myself, I do want to try the budget version, version of this. So I bought this from Amazon, so if it doesn't work or if I don't like it, I can always return it. Now it comes with like a handy carrying case, but that don't usually mean much because once I open it, it's just more cardboard for uh, recycling. But anyway, so after paying £139, this is what you get. What have we got here? Um, instruction booklet, pictures, some accessories. I think this is a hanging bracket, a small brush. Oh, this is very useful for your car because it does go into the narrow gap. Okay, so this is the head, and one of the selling points for this particular Prozenic model is that it can have a kind of a 360 kind of a rotation, and it does have a motorized uh, brush. So we're going to test it out and see how good or how bad it is. You've got an extra roller, I think if you use it on a different kind of carpet, this might be quite useful. Power adapter. The actual Hoover itself. Now the battery is already in here. Oh, I'm a bit impatient. So yeah, it does work. So there we go. So it's a handheld vacuum cleaner. If you haven't used one of these before, it is very handy. But there's always drawback of um, running out of batteries. Now this one 
on the advertisement say that you can run it up to like 30 minutes now I'm not sure how accurate that will be because usually even if you have a uh, 3000 milliamps per hour battery it will only last about 15 minutes and if you use the strong suction like Dyson you know the boosting function they don't usually last that long but we'll, we'll see I will test it out and let you guys know aluminum chip so this must be the kind of the long bit for your hoover so that's it that's all in the box and let's try to assemble this then now one thing I noticed is that with the Dyson it comes with a very nice holder that you actually clip in and then it will charge but this one doesn't look like it comes with that because all it has is a bracket for the wall to hang hang it up like this but you still need to manually plug and charge the thing so I guess you are paying for the aesthetic looking of the Dyson if you have a nice home and you want to show your hoover and hang it on the wall um, the Dyson you just click in and it charge whereas this one you hook it up you still need to plug it in but the good thing about this one is that um, it does have a battery indicator on the side here which does not does it tell you no I mean it's a flash green but I was expecting an indicator bar but it doesn't so yeah, a bit of a letdown I guess now to empty it because it's a backless kind of uh, vacuum cleaner all you need to do is click I mean it is 2019 so I don't know anyone still using Hoover with a bag so Hoover does go in here click release and that's it close it okay what else all right so this one detach so this is all the mechanism of the Hoover you've got the battery here you've got the fan which suck air out and pump air out here it goes in okay so the the filters on top of this so you open it up so this is the filter that you need to clean from time to time and what I find with the Dyson is um, if you don't clean this filter it really lose uh, it really lose suction really quickly so you need to kind of wash or dust it from time to time so air cylinder so this is where the dust gets separate from the current and that's about it um, I do like simple machine because less thing to go wrong lock it up push back in that's it now this one here now this tube here allows the obviously the handle to attach to it but I also have electric elect electric connector to provide power to the front of the cleaning head because you do need power for this roller to work plug in click in okay click in there you go so that's kind of the setup okay so now, now what I will do is I'm going to plug it in and charge it up um, like any electronics make sure you charge it up before you use it because the battery obviously there are some residual batteries in there but usually it's only half charged now once you plug it in the red indicator comes up to say that it's charged so I'm just gonna wait until that red turns to green and that's it um, while I'm leaving it to on, while I'm leaving it on charge I'm going to show you the accessories thing so usually there is no introduction needed so like I say this one here when you attach it to the front it can goes into narrow gap to suck out all the dust and stuff like that so it's very useful in between you know the, the side of the car seats and they usually have some kind of like brush attachment so if you need to loosen up the dirt then you just push it in rub it a few times it comes out this is really useful for narrow gaps and stuff like that 
slightly bigger version of this but this time the brush is permanently on so you can't really detach it <laughs> um, roller for different application so this one comes with a soft kind of a bristle whereas the one already attached is the hard bristle uh, you might want to try out and see uh, which one is best for you and um, for now I'm going to leave it on charge come back in let's say a half an hour 15 minutes and um, have a look again obviously the left one is the Dyson purple color tubing now there's lots of scratch on it because it is a well-used machine and the P8 Max is new right there in green size wise the Dyson is slightly longer and also if you look at the head closely the P8 Max Chinese is one is not as big or as wide and one other difference is the Dyson can only go tilt upwards and downwards there's no sideways movement whereas the P8 Max move up down left and right now in practice I'm not sure how useful that is but I guess it can go around corners easier but we'll see now I do have a bit of dirt on the floor that I can test to hoover on I am sawdust and a bit of a semi wet mud it's not that dirtier place that I need to use it but as a general test I think it will be quite a good idea okay let's focus on this one now there's two modes um, there's a turbo button here so so this is low this is high back to low Now, first thing I noticed is that I do like the swivel, swivel uh, head. In the Dyson, you can only go this way, whereas this one you can actually go into corners easier. It doesn't remember the turbo button like the Dyson. For the Dyson, you press the turbo button every time you start it, it will have the stronger suction. Whereas this one, it always go to the lower mode. So every time you want to hoover a bit more, you have to press that. Okay, and the dust, you can see them, they are collected in, in the chamber it does work but is it better than the Dyson let me charge up the Dyson and then I can tell you
Okay, so let's see if you can see it. So just a few minutes of uh, cleaning. There is like um, the dirt in the chamber. It does look like Dyson is doing a much better job than the handheld Hoover. But the battery on the Dyson just died on me. I'm not sure if it is because of the old battery or is this just using a lot more power than the P8 Max. So let's talk about what I like about the P8 Max. Now it's lightweight and it's a lot more comfortable uh, moving it around than the Dyson. The Dyson is, I have to say, the Dyson is a bit stronger in terms of the suction, but um, they both clean well because they have the rotating brush heads in, in, inside the head. Now the head is not rely on suction, it's actually a motorized. So that's why when you press the trigger, that will come up. So that will come up. I'm not sure why they put the light in front of it, but you know, I don't I don't suppose anyone will hoover in the dark. Maybe you do, put it in the comment section, but I don't I, I don't know anyone who would do that. I really like the swivel kind of a head. It makes go between like um, um, tight places a lot easier. For example, if you have chairs where the the legs are not as wide as the head so you no longer need to lift up the chair or go sideways you can actually just tilt and make it slimmer and push it in sideways which is really useful and another thing which i don't like about the pa max is the triggering system so here you trigger it once and it stays on but as soon as you press it it goes down so it's almost like you use your index finger to trigger it and then you just let it go and push the hoover around and that is really tiring because um you usually like the gun trigger you, you you press it and you push at the same time but now there is nowhere that you can put your index finger and except pulling on the button but once you pull on the button it switch off so i'm not sure why they do that now, another good feature of the P8 Max is the battery. Um, this battery thing is a kind of a, a replacement part, so eventually the battery will die. Now, the Dyson is quite easy to change, but you need to take it apart, unscrew, and then take it out. Whereas this one, you actually have a button on the bottom here where you press and you can pull out the battery. And I checked on Amazon, the battery is about £30, so if you have a big house or you are going to use it continuously more than let's say 15-20 uh, minutes, then you can just buy extra battery and you can actually change it. And to charge the battery, you don't actually plug it into the machine, you actually plug it into the battery. So what it means that is that if you have two batteries, you can actually have one in the machine and when it finished, take it out, put it on charge, Put your second battery into the machine and you can carry on cleaning, which is a really good idea. I wish Dyson have done something like that, but obviously not. So, um, yeah, so that's about the P8 Max. Um, I, like I say, I do find the suction a bit stronger on the Dyson, but at the same time, the battery runs out faster as well. So Dyson runs out about 15 minutes on maximum um, suction. And this one, I have just done a 20 minutes clean and it's still um, going a bit strong. So I guess um, you, you sacrifice the power and the duration. I mean, general cleaning, if it is hardboard or short carpet, I think the P8 Max is perfectly fine. Pets hair, dust, everything is okay. But if you want absolutely the best suction, then go for the Dyson, double the price. Thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget if you like my content please subscribe to my channel and help me grow and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Time to take out the trash.